I'm sure all of you have heard of the ChatGPT 4.0 image generation model that's been released. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 plus use cases of this new revolutionary model. And this is definitely the best model for image generation by far. There is nothing that competes with it. As you can see from this image, it was able to recreate an image that I uploaded for a thumbnail and it recreated that image even better than the original in my opinion. The text looks great. It was able to capture the AI robot and I actually told it to add the robot to be holding a color palette in its hands. So I was able to not only recreate the image, but then tell it to add elements into that image. The second thing in which I was able to do is I was able to upload an image of a product that I have at home. And then I told it to upscale this image and create a product mock-up of it with a girl in yoga pulling, holding it. As you can see here, this image looks ultra realistic. And it's very hard for you to see the difference between this, which is AI generated compared to an individual. And when you think about it, if a company had to pay a person to do this, they would have to pay a model. They have to get the product. They have to pay to get a rent out a studio, pay photographers to take a high quality image like this. And we're able to create mockups in a matter of seconds. And they look amazing using this model. So not only are there fun use cases, there's actual practical use cases for brands to use especially if you're a product facing brand that will reduce costs and allow you to create beautiful mockups of your images in use in any scene or imagery in which you like. The next thing in which I was able to do is I was able to create some thumbnails. So I entered a very simple prompt, which is create an eye catching YouTube thumbnail of a man with his hands, hands on his head and the writings must try on the left hand side. This is basic. I just wanted to see what we can get. And then I told it to now add a Google logo on his shirt and change the background so it's more futuristic. So again, not only are you able to create, you're also able to edit. Like the most intelligent Canva tool that you have at your fingertips. So, and it, again, it's much more cost effective compared to using Canva and it's a lot more quicker. So here are a couple other use cases in which I had. I wanted to see if it could generate text and images at the same time. GPT-40 is multi-model, so that means it can generate text and it can generate images at the same time. But I think because it's currently rolling out, we don't have the full fledged GPT-40. So currently I did tell it to write an article and then create images for the article because I wanted to get a full finished article, but it's not able to do so as of yet. It is still in beta. So it was able to create me a blog post cover image, but actually looks pretty decent. How to start an AI SaaS in 2025. If I scroll down, I then went ahead and pasted in my full article and told it to create multiple image and infographics based upon this article. Now it was not able to do so uh, because currently it's only limited to one image generation. I don't know if that's gonna change as it continues to evolve. And just a quick note, once you click on the image, you can actually describe what you want to add, remove or replace right from that image. So again, an intelligent editor and content creator all at your fingertips. And something to note is that the text on the images are near perfect. I haven't seen any faults with text on the images. They look great. They look like you created them on Canva and it's able to take that information. There's no distortion in text and the images look, just look really, really good. Next, I wanted to test the output quality with my tool. So I've developed a tool called Image Rocket. If you want to check it out, just head over to imagerocket.ai or app.imagerocket.ai. I'll leave a link in the description below today's video. And we have a bunch of pre-made templates and we're using a different model uh, to generate content because the GPT-40 model is not available. But once it is available, I will 100% be implementing it into this tool. And I think because we already have really good pre-made templates, it will make the content really, really good because the output quality would be so much better because the AI will be more intelligent. So what I did was I went ahead and I copied over one of the prompts in which I used to create an image. So it was a high quality image of four AI robots fighting. One AI robot is winning, da da da. And then I pasted that into ChatGPT to create the image. Here is the image in which we got back. I really like the actual robots themselves. I don't really like the text as much, and I don't really like that it wasn't formatted as a YouTube video. So I've actually created a new prompt and it is generating in the background. So we'll be able to compare apples to apples. But if we take a look at what we got back from our tool, it is a little bit better, I would say, but I don't think it's a apples to apples comparison as of yet, because again, we didn't tell it to create it in a YouTube format. We didn't improve the prompt like we do on our tool. But again, I think once we combine our tool with our prompts with GPT-40, you can expect to create 
amazing thumbnails, amazing social media images, and amazing Pinterest pins. I also did the same thing for a Pinterest pin in which I was able to create so create a high quality, delicious hot chocolate muffin, blah, blah, blah. And this is what the Pinterest pin looks like from our tool. And this is what we're able to get back from a ChatGPT. So I think ChatGPT does a really good job at generating images, but I don't know how good it is, it is at generating really nice text because this text looks a little bit too plain for my likings. But again, you know, it's up to you guys to compare it side by side. I prefer the image in which we were able to generate with my tool. But again, it could just be the prompting um, in which I am using. So definitely when I use the API and I use it within my tool, we can be able to do an apples to apples comparison. So I definitely still think my tool is a good option for you. And again, if you wanted to lock in a lifetime deal, you can lock in a lifetime deal for now. And then you would get access to it even when we upgrade to the new models and any other new model that comes out. And there'll be a one stop shop for you to generate content quickly using pre-made templates. If you'd like to try out the tool or get a lifetime deal, I will leave a link for it in the description below today's video. To access it, just set up with ChatGPT 4.0 and you should be able to use the image generation tool. And again, if you wanna access my tool, head over to imagerocket.ai. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.